Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to do this Fantastic Beasts apparition effect in Hit Film Express. So we're going to actually use some stock footage to do this, and we are going to get our stock footage from Production Crate. Production Crate is a fantastic stock footage website that provides both free assets as well as pro paid for subscription assets that you can download and use in your projects. So if you would like to go sign up, if you have not already signed up at productioncrate.com and you would like to do that, click on the link in the description below to that. It is an affiliate link, so you will help out my channel tremendously because I have referred you. Please feel free to click on that link and go take a look. You can get a free account, sign up, and then start downloading assets immediately. What I'm going to do at productioncrate.com is I'm going to look at the VFX media elements, and I am going to come down to Magic Powers, clicking, and you can see all of these shock waves and all kinds of cool stuff. We're going to go to Spells and Beams, and you will see that we have wizard apparition effects here, okay? Now you can tell which of these are the free ones that anybody can have and which ones are part of the subscription package. If it has a little uh, star next to it, that is one that has to be paid for, uh, comes with your subscription. But if it doesn't have a little star, like this wizard apparition number one, then it is free. So you can download that and that's the one that we're going to use. Then we're going to go to sound effects and we're going to come down to magical and I'm going to go to the very bottom where I am finding wizard apparition sound effect number one. And again, it's a free asset. I'm going to download that one. And then last but not least, I am going to go to music and I'm going to find fantasy and I'm going to find Battle Rally. This one is actually a paid for one, but this one worked best for me. So I'm downloading that for this project. So now we're in HitFilm Express, the free version. And I went out and shot some raw footage of me walking through the forest in my suit, looking all wizardy. And so I am going to uh, make a new composite shot. And at this moment, I'm going to make it uh, 10 seconds just so that I have you know I'm gonna drag my raw footage in here this actually is bigger uh, than my footage or my uh, shot is which is good and I'm gonna move forward about one second or so and I'm just going to trim that that will be my uh, beginning part and then uh, I'm just gonna drag this back until I am walking to where I need to be or where I want to be uh, when I want the apparition to happen, which is going to be roughly about, um, oop, probably not that far. Let's go right about here. Okay. Um, and I think, you know, making this about a four second clip will work. So I'm going to right click on this and say properties, make this four seconds. Okay. Now you can see I'm way out of frame, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is create a new point layer, and that will be the control point. I'm just going to parent both of these um, to the new point, and then I'm just going to drag this new point until I have it basically where I want me to show up. So now you can see that if I back up one shot, I appear magically in there. And I am going to go ahead and trim this and remove that piece because I don't need extra footage. Uh, and that looks pretty good, maybe slightly um, off, but it's it's not terrible. So now what's going to happen is, is I'm going to, and up here, this is where the apparition effect needs to happen. So here is the apparition effect. Yep, and I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to place it above the footage. Okay, and whoops, I am not going to do that. Instead, I am going to slide it into place here where it is best, and then I will just position it, and I may need to, you know, resize it, essentially making sure uh, that 
Yeah, actually, I think what I want to do is come forward just like that. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it starts here, then it appears, and when it's done, there I am walking, right? Yeah, just like that. Looks good. Okay, and it's really that easy. If I wanted to color that or change it, uh, which I don't, but if I did want to do that, um, I would probably use like a hue, saturation, and lightness effect. So, for example, I might grab this effect, drag it on there, open it up. Let's say I didn't want the red. I might just desaturate the red out or something like that. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave it as is, though, because it is pretty good. Okay. Now, if you look at the um, Harry Potter or Fantastic Beasts um, trailer, uh, and and movie, you will see that there's a little bit of a bulge effect that happens there. So what I want to do is add a new grade layer, and I'm going to place that grade layer above the footage, and I want to find the bulge effect, okay? And dragging that bulge effect on, and what I want to do is just hide the thing for a second, and let me readjust that so that it's about in the middle, and I'm just going to uh, maybe increase the Y scale slightly up the X scale, and it will bulge about here, um, and then it will go back, and it's only about a three second kind of a deal, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll back up about, or three second, I'm going to back up about three frames and go to zero, and so then it just kind of this way, and then one, two, three, and now it's back to zero again, about three, three frames worth. And we don't want it to be any really any bigger than the, um, than the apparition effect itself. So you just want to see it sort of in the background a little bit. That's about it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, I can add my sound effect which is the uh, wizard apparition effect. If I drop that on here, I can right click here and say option show the waveform. So I kind of get an idea of where that is. And it will basically be about right there. Okay. Uh, add my music in and maybe do a little bit of color correcting. And when I'm done, it looks like this. So pretty much in a nutshell, that's how you would do it. It's actually pretty easy using this stock footage. Again, I would really appreciate it if you would click on that link uh, below and sign up for Production Crate if you're not already a member. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.